Hey guys and welcome to a quick tutorial. In this tutorial I'll go over the open subdiv modifier. It's a really cool modifier that can really speed up your workflow. Uh, I haven't been using it until recently and I'm surprised how powerful it actually is. So without further ado, let's go ahead. So the first mesh is just a simple plane I used bend on that I just uh, drag these this middle edge out and boolean two cylinders with it. Uh, the second one is just a cylinder with boolean. The third one is just a simple plane I created and uh, curve on. And this is just a curve on uh, another surface. So nothing really special. So let's start with this one. Since I uh, ran a boolean on it uh, I will surely have some junk geometry such as here so first off I'll clean the uh, junk geometry up you can clean it up uh, with collapse which is right here or you can use target will Uh, I'll use target weld or collapse uh, depending on the situation. Here I'm going to use collapse. So my rule of thumb is if, if the distance between the two verts is too far, I usually take the vert that has less impact on the model than the edge that has or the vert that it has the bigger impact on a model so naturally this has less impact on the entire model so I will uh, target well this vert to here because if I would if I would uh, target well this vert to here I would change okay this difference that's not a big difference but I would change the shape of this one a lot as you can see so I'll just target weld it like this and here I'm going to use collapse again alright pretty good now I'm going to take out the swift loop which you can find under edit and I'm going to create some edges on the outer faces like so now I'm going to now I'm going to connect these Verts together with connect. You can find connect on the loops. To connect these verts, I, I'll use cut, which you can find under edit. Alright, pretty good. Uh, to go all safe, uh, I'll go. Or turn it into an editable mesh and into an editable poly. Okay, to make it a bit more attractive, I'm going to add some more details. So I'm gonna bevel uh, this face out. Use inset again and bevel it inwards this time. Okay, pretty good. Now I'm going to select these faces, inset them, and hit collapse. So I have all triangles insi inside. Okay, so now would be the time to turn it into a high poly model. And I want to retain these rings over here and this hard edge. So traditionally, what you would have to do is, one second what you would have to do is you would have to add some manual support loops such as these I'm just gonna do it very quickly to 
two iterations. So as you can see, uh, we have uh, the desired shape. We retain this ring and uh, fixed uh, this wheel over here. But if we wanted to sharpen this edge in the middle, uh, we would hit a limit because if we if we um, if we add some support loops here, what it would do it would uh, harden this edge like we want it to but it would also harden this cylindrical edge which would uh, give you undes which will give us an undesirable result so there are a couple of ways to avoid this with a uh, quad chamfer for instance but quad chamfer still produces some artifacts over here or we could have just used some more uh, geometry so we could use the cylinder, uh, cylinder geometry and for instance just drag it out here so we would have some natural support loops however I intentionally used low amount of geometry to uh, show the power of uh, open subdiv so to use open subdiv you have to use creases so I'm going to use the creaset modifier which you can find under the modifier list mm -hmm. crease creaset there we go and now I'll make different sets so I'll select these edges or this edge loop and create a set I'll rename this set to weld I'll create a set out of this edge or out, or out of this these edges and rename it to hard edge because I want it hard okay alright so create a set again and this time around I'm going to name it edge rings okay so now I have to I will have to add the uh, open subdiv modifier and as you can see uh, the shapes collapse but if I increase uh, the values just one second. If I increase uh, the values in in the crease creases, I can retain the shapes. So for the wheels, I want it to be a bit more sharper, but still soft. So I'll play around with the value till I like it, and I like uh, value value like this. So I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'll go over the hard edge. I can y turn it very hard, but I still want. But I don't really like too hard shapes, so I'll soften it up a bit. Yeah, a bit softer. And the edge rings can be easily retained with the values as well so I actually use same values everywhere but it's too mainstream so I'll just go to 8 okay so as you can see uh, we created a cr created uh, really nice results very quickly 
and the best part of that is it's very non it's non destructive um i could just turn off the modifiers and i and still have my um initial geometry untouched so it's it's really cool and non destructive it it does a really great job so let's jump over to the next one which is a bit more trickier a bit trickier sorry mm. so for that we let's just outline how the circle like this just uh, line it out you can use this technique for cylindrical uh, booleans whenever you like and since I added a edge here I minimized the impact because if I didn't have this edge the entire uh, edge would move like this but since I you know created a edge here only this part moves so it's really cool Okay, now I'll have to clean it up again. Uh, I'll use edge constraints here because I want it to move I want to move it out quite a bit like this so in this case uh, open subdiv is admittedly a bit unnecessary because I can just add the support loops now and technically this is already a support loop but for the sake of this tutorial let's just do it anyway so I'll add a crease set modifier and I'm going to cr uh, select these edge, uh, edge loop here create a set rename the set to weld and casually select these edges as well So now I have uh, I will have to add open subdiv uh, iterations to four, and now I'll just play around with the values till I like it. A bit softer. Okay. So for the weld, I I don't want to go too sharp, but pretty clean. subtle okay as you can see it looks pretty good might want to change some values still okay I'm pretty happy with this one so it's really amazing what open subdiv can do and let's say you model cars and cars usually have hard edges transitioning to soft edges right so let's uh, use open subdiv iteration support and let's increase the uh, increase the crease and let's uh, make the outer edges softer like this and 
decrease the value over here. So as you can see, it starts pretty soft and transitions to a hard edge, which is which is really cool and very useful for cars. So definitely make use of it when you when you're modeling cars. <coughs> so the last example is just um, another surface, and this surface is tricky because not in this case, but let's say you have a cut or an inset in here and you want to make it uh, to a you want to retain the hard edges here uh, you can't really do that because you would have too less geometry to support it so what would happen is if you add your support loops you would end up getting this ugly artifact which you don't really want but now that you know of uh, open subdivision you can just edit without any any fear of destroying the smoothing but beforehand open subdivision is not really friendly to uh, words that have uh, five edges coming into it so for instance this um, word would uh, create some bad distortion because we have five edges coming into it one two three four five so what you will have to do is you will have to delete one temporarily here as well and now open subdiv can work so I'll just increase the crease value first I'm gonna get open subdiv iterations to three show end results on and increase the crease okay so as you can see it manages to you know retain the hard edges you can just do it with a chamfer as well but it's just a tutorial and it's only for giving you some ideas on what things you can use uh, open subdiv so in my opinion it's really powerful and quite a game oops, quite a game changer because you know we now have new ways of adding our support loops which is really really cool because you know we don't have to you know d deal with a uh, number of polygons or uh, or uh, annoying support loops which will you know, we'll, uh, we'll need to you know we don't have to deal with uh, support loops we we will have to fix later on or delete for the low poly but you know we can just non-destructively add some support loops ourselves which is really really cool so that pretty much wrapped the tutorial up and i hope you learned a lot from it uh, goodbye <coughs>